Hello everyone and welcome to this video on advanced robotics. Let us begin with some definitions. So what is robotics? Robotics deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robots. The term robot was derived from the Slavic word robota, which means labor, and according to the Robot Institute of America, robots are reprogrammable, multifunctional manipulators that move material through program motions for various tasks. Simply put, robots are machines that are programmed to perform certain actions automatically. Robots can be classified into two main categories. The first is conventional robotics, where robots perform actions that are predetermined and follow a specific routine. The next category is advanced robotics, where robots have better perception, are more autonomous, and can change their behavior and adapt to their surroundings. For this video, we will be focusing on advanced robotics. Moving on to the history of robots. This timeline shows some key milestones in the field of robotics. The term robot was first used by playwright Carl Chapek in 1921 and author Isaac Asimov in 1942, but it was not till the early 1950s that the first industrial robot Unimate was created by George C. Duvall to help manufacture automobiles. These robots were however only popularized in the late 1960s when Joseph Engelberger further developed and manufactured them. Due to his contributions, Engelberger is often referred to as the father of robotics. The next milestone was the invention of the robot Shaky by a team from the Stanford Research Institute led by Charles Rosen from 1966 to 1972. Shaky was mobile, had a camera and bump sensors, and could respond to its surroundings. In the 1980s, due to the increased availability and capabilities of computers, the field of robotics began to grow quickly and many firms began their foray into advanced robotics. In 2003, Two semi-autonomous Mars exploration rovers were successfully used to navigate Mars and collect images and geological data. Another landmark milestone was in 2013, when Boston Dynamics created Atlas, the first autonomous humanoid robot. Robots have clearly developed a lot over the years and are now deployed and used in many different contexts. They are still mainly used in the automotive and manufacturing industries, but advanced robotics are also used in agriculture as farmers use them for pruning and getting rid of pests. In healthcare, automated medication dispensing systems help to prepare medicine, and robotic surgery systems and assistive care robots work alongside medical staff. In households, autonomous vacuum cleaners are a common sight, while in retail, robots like Pepper are used by banks to respond to inquiries. Pepper is also used in education to teach students social skills. And lastly, for transportation, autonomous vehicles are examples of the application of advanced robotics. Let us now go through the foundational technical elements that underpin advanced robotics. So how exactly do robots work? Robots can be said to be structured and work in a way similar to humans. They consist of five main components that perform different functions. A body frame and mechanical parts, a power supply, actuators, sensors, and a controller. Firstly, just like humans have a skeleton and limbs, robots are made out of a body or frame and have mechanical parts like grippers, arms, and legs to facilitate movement. Robots are also equipped with a power supply such as batteries, which give them energy to operate. Thirdly, they have actuators, which are motors that act like the robot's muscles and help convert this energy into action so the robot can move its mechanical parts. Next, just as humans have five sensors like sight and touch to aid in perception, robots have light, sound and touch sensors or even cameras to help them find objects and enhance their perception of temperature, light and movement so they can navigate different environments. Lastly, the controller functions as the robot's brain and assists with cognitive abilities. The controller receives and processes sensory information and gives out commands to control the robot based on information that has been programmed into it. Advanced robots today are often powered by artificial intelligence, which is a technology that enables robots to learn and behave more like humans. These components are all interconnected and work together to enable robots to function. The use and development of advanced robotics has led to many impacts and policy issues. Robots have allowed for greater cost savings and productivity as they can perform tasks with more accuracy and efficiency. Worker safety has also been enhanced as ro robots help complete tasks in environments that are too dangerous for humans. However, advanced robotics has also led to negative impacts and policy issues. It has caused the displacement of workers and decreased job security as individuals with routine and less complex tasks have been replaced by robots. A study found that for every one robot used in manufacturing, 3.3 workers were displaced. Policies involving the establishment of training facilities to help displaced workers upskill and find new jobs, or education programs to help workers adapt to working alongside robots are thus needed. 
Examples include Singapore's Skills Future program for workers to attend training courses to learn new skills as well as receive career guidance. Another concern is data and cybersecurity. The increased usage of advanced robotics means that cyber attacks may cause a breakdown in operating systems and hinder robots from completing their tasks. Firms thus need to set up systems and governance frameworks to protect their technology and infrastructure from cyber attacks and security breaches. Advanced robotics has also led to safety issues, as autonomous vehicles could threaten the safety of other drivers and pedestrians on the road. Policy issues include what new laws and traffic regulations must be enacted to protect other road users and determine who is responsible in the case of an accident with autonomous vehicles. Examples of these policies are the UN regulation for automated lane keeping systems, which 60 countries agreed to, and Singapore's technical reference guidelines, which provide safety regulations for autonomous vehicles. Advanced robotics has also led to broader social and ethical implications, which lead to additional policy considerations such as, to what extent can advanced robotics be used so humans are not excessively harmed in terms of safety and job security? How can we govern advancements in robotics and who should regulate developments in this field? Thirdly, should we draw the line and determine a limit to how advanced and how human-like robots can be in terms of their form and function? What will this limit be and how can we impose such restrictions? Lastly, how can we balance the opportunities advanced robotics create with the risks associated with its application? Advanced robotics is indeed a fast-progressing field with many policy implications, which I hope that you have a better understanding of after this video now. Thank you.